Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with a crazy cool circuits lesson in Tankercad. Make sure you click on circuits. Make sure you've already built the LCD. If you haven't, I will put a link up here in the corner so you can build that quick little project. And let's get cracking. So when you get in circuits, make sure you click tinker this so you can bring back our project from before. This nifty little project used some sweet code that you can find online. It helped us set it up so we could connect the wires as they needed. And when we hit play and adjusted our dial, we got the phrase they give us, which used to say hello world. And then we changed the code to say yo, yo, yo world. And I put LCD print as HL Mod Tech rocks. But what I'd like to do now is learn how to clear the little screen and put extra commands down in the loop so it repeats. Start by hitting stop simulation because you can't change anything until you do that. And then let's start by adding a new command called delay. And let's put the parentheses and 3000, which stands for three seconds, and make sure you put a semicolon after it. After our delay, let's type lcd.setcursor 0 comma space 0 semicolon. Make sure you have the semicolon. The space is not necessarily essential, but we'll test that in a minute. This 00, zero location is where our original message went. We are going to clear that line using our LCD print, which we practiced earlier. Copy that command, paste it down below, but we are going to paste in spaces. Remember our display is 16 spaces long, so just count out 16. Once you've got your 16 spaces, let's copy that delay in again. Press enter and add that code on that line. So now it is going to draw the HL mod tech, delay, set the cursor, clean it, and then delay before it starts over. Let's start the simulation and watch it work. There's our yo, yo, yo world. Here comes the erasing. And then there's the HL mod tech rocks. Let's clear the HL mod tech rocks by hitting stop simulation clicking down below pressing enter we want to copy that code and this time we're going to delete the second cursor so when you do control v change it to zero one which is the second line of our display after it clears let's put that delay 3000 again and then we can print our new message but we're going to do our new message in a fancy way I'm going to backspace so that my code all stays to the left. Now let's send a special message to mom since it's almost Mother's Day. Press enter on your code. Scroll down so you've got some room. Let's copy our LCD set cursor command and put it down below. And we're going to do one word at a time because this looks kind of sweet. So there's my set cursor. Press enter. Find your LCD print. I'm going to just grab my first one, making sure that I always grab the semicolon because you don't want to lose those. Control V to paste it in, and then I am going to just say happy. And notice that is five letters. So it's going to do zero, zero happy. And then I'm going to put in my delay 3000. So it's going to wait three seconds. I'm going to copy all of that. This time I'm going to do control C and control V. So I'm going to start using the shortcuts. And since that was five characters, I'm going to move over seven characters. That way there's a space between it. So it's going to pause for three seconds. And then in this spot, I want it to say mothers. Let's test our code quickly. Hit start simulation and see what it looks like. Our old yo, yo, yo world still shows up, as does the HL Mod Tech Rocks. Those clear, and then here comes our new message, one word at a time. How slick is that? Let's hit stop simulation. You see it was about to repeat. Let's copy our code again. Uh, remember we did the LCD all the way down. Once again, control C and control V is the smarter way to do shortcuts. This time I'm going to do line one, which is the second line. I'm going to do my zero. You could get all fancy and try and center it, but I'm just going to type day. 
I'm going to hit an exclamation point. You can put a mom. You can put all kinds of cool phrases. You can clear these again and again and again as you made it more awesome. I'm going to change the real message to say something more cool at the moment. How about something like drum roll, please? And then I'm going to put down here a silly da-da-da-da pop. And now let's see our code clearing, doing the three screens, making all the pauses, and showing Happy Mother's Day. Boom. Just like expected, if you don't like your pauses, simply hit stop and then change them to different numbers. If you make those a one second pause with a 1000, that'll make it pop a little more cooler in the animation phase and it just makes it more fun. You'll notice when it clears, it's going to do the da 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 pop every time, which is kind of silly. But that's where you can come up with cooler things to put. I just wanted to show you how you could make this work. I'm going to hit stop code and I'm going to change this to say, hi, mom. Got my exclamation point. You can now have fun with this. See how epic you can make your code. Make it say something. If you're in my class, I need you to give me a screenshot of what your cool phrase said when you were done. If you're out on the internet, you can share a post, a screenshot, maybe even a capture on Instagram at HLModTech to let us see how cool yours turned out. Friends, if you found this useful, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HLModTech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.